Fun fact, my brother flipped over this thing because he was just swinging so, he was swinging so hard. But in today's video, I want to talk about how you can get free Airbnb stays like the one I'm getting for the next three days. No, for three total days. I guess yesterday was the first night. And it's all in photography, guys. In today's day and age, everyone wants really cool visuals, whether it's photo, video, or even like animation. Now, I don't know the exact numbers, of course, but besides the top tier of Airbnbs that have the professional photos and stuff, the rest, which might be like 90%, have decent photos, of course, but it's usually the owner taking the photos. Not all of the time they, you know, go out of their way to hire a photographer. So that's when you come in, the photographer, and you offer your services in exchange for nights. Now, I feel like this is beneficial to both parties because the Airbnb owner is probably gonna accept since he doesn't have to pay cash, which is why, again, I wouldn't do this all the time because it is gonna cost you a little bit. But for example, for this, trip i wanted to get away from chicago and the cold and come out to california where it's like perfect 75 degree weather and that's why it was awesome that i got three nights in exchange for photos and videos but again i would do this sparingly only when you want to travel uh, but it's a really cool way to save like 300 400 i don't know the fees for airbnb can be sometimes kind of outrageous and even though for this beautiful home it's not crazy expensive it's still like 400 bucks for three nights which obviously is a lot of money so let's go through the three steps that i suggest you do if you want to do this in the future starting off with number one you gotta learn how to take photos and videos and you gotta buy some decent equipment. Now, it doesn't have to be the most expensive gear in the world and I'm sure some people can even do it with some iPhones, but you do have to master the technicalities so that you get crispy images and then you apply a really good edit and just bring it all together and show that your photos and videos are a level higher than theirs. Because come on, imagine you hire someone or you decide to exchange, for example, a stay for some pictures and photos and then they come back to you and they have the same quality that you could have taken. Uh, that's not gonna fly, you know? So it's like you do have to practice and learn photography and then you can move on to step number two. All right, so I have my comfy red chair ready and step number two, guys, you wanna have a portfolio and maybe even a video reel if you're trying to get into video. Proving that you've taken pictures of homes before. Let's not get too extreme and say that you have to show that you've worked with a hundred different clients or like you've taken pictures of like 200 homes, nothing like that. And maybe honestly it can work if you at least show that you've been into photography and that you know what you're doing, you know how to edit. So again, you don't have to maybe even have like five or 10 different homes. You just have to have like a solid two and show that you've taken pictures of landscapes, cityscapes, portraits for people, show the variety in your creativity. I feel like sometimes that's enough to justify a proper exchange of a stay for pictures. So after you put together a nice body of work, you wanna be able to show it somewhere, like on a personal website, so that the people that you're trying to work with can go over and check it out. And after that, you go on to step number three. All right, so step number three and the last step is of course, finding Airbnbs that one, you would wanna stay at. So for example, I kinda wanna go to Alaska one day. So let's say I go to airbnb.com, Anchorage, Alaska is like, I think their major city. So I wanna stay there. I find a really cool Airbnb that could use better photos though. So I messaged the host like, hey, I'm a photographer. I'm thinking of going to Anchorage for a couple days. Would you wanna exchange some really high quality photos of your home? for two nights of stay. Uh, here's my website, you can check out my work. Send me a message and let me know what you think. A lot of times, really high quality photos can really boost an Airbnb home to attract more visitors. So it's a win-win, like I said before. So another option, if you already paid for an Airbnb or you're just starting in photography is stay at the Airbnb like normal, you know, paid and everything, but take some quality pictures, take the time to edit them and make them look really nice. And when you're done, when you're leaving and you message the host to say, thank you for the awesome stay, send them a link and say, hey, look, like I took these pictures of your home. Thanks again for the awesome stay. And a lot of times, if the pictures are really nice and everything, the host is gonna be like, oh, would you wanna come back and take some a big batch of photos of the home? Like, these are great. And maybe they even pay you this time and you get a free stay. So it's another way of creating effective connections and it could save you some money and maybe even make you some money on your little trip. All right, now it's finally time for the home tour. It's a really awesome stay, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Now there is a bit of a mess because we have a bunch of equipment, but just try to try to block it out. <laughs>
Some final notes guys, now you don't want to be rude when reaching out saying something like oh your photos are kind of bad, can I step in and help? Because honestly I've been saying that the photos most of the time are pretty good and photography is subjective where you might think your work is the best but others might think their work is the best and yours is not. So you have to be mindful whenever you reach out of what you say. Also, expect only a small percentage of people that you reach out to to actually wanna work with you because it's just the nature of the game. And the whole point is to not just sit around and wait for photo work to come to you. You have to get out and explore and be proactive about it. So this could be another avenue that you can maybe find a couple gigs here and there. So I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for this one. Um, follow us on IG, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.